There is a factory where, under Yamada's leadership, excess inventory was vastly reduced and production lines changed to accommodate a variety of goods to meet consumer needs. The fruit of driving ahead with training at the cannon plant in Toride came as Yamada realized his ultimate goal of a single stall production system in which one person performs the entire assembly. All the parts necessary for complete assembly are arranged around the worker in a stall-like structure. This laser printer has 79 components. After assembly, the same worker even performs the inspection and boxing of each machine. Previously, this printer was constructed on a line 120 meters long by 46 workers. An average of 108 unfinished goods resulted from the old method. When model changes occurred, reorganizing the line took over a month. Now, however, the total number of unfinished goods for the entire floor of individual stalls is down dramatically to a mere 10. Model changes, too, can be accomplished in a matter of days, which has doubled the number of types of goods they can produce. Furthermore, individual production has brought about startling results. As the change to multitasking has proceeded, the number of units an individual can produce has nearly tripled. Employees have appeared who can assemble a digital copy machine composed of 560 parts faster than an assembly line of 113 people. At first, you know, I couldn't get any volume. Only four machines by myself in a day. But I'm getting faster and faster. And now I can do up to six machines. How can this shift to individual assembly increase productivity? Yamada sees the key difference in the worker's sense of doing something worthwhile. Division of labor dictates that one simple task be performed within a given time. Since the speed at which the line moves is fixed, total productivity will never rise, no matter how much effort an individual exerts. In individual production, though, the results of each skillful move are duly reflected. And since the worker takes charge of the whole thing, and not just a part of it, she has the joy of having created something. This factory heightens worker incentive by giving the title of Meister, along with a boost in salary, to those who can make a product of superior quality in a short time. Furthermore, they establish a practice whereby each product bears the proud signature of its assembler. When you make something yourself, then naturally you feel attached to it. And because it's something I make myself, I want those who buy it to treat it well and use it for a long time. Personnel taken off the line were reassigned to help develop products that are easy to assemble. Yamada's factory reforms, drawing on the zeal and skills of the workers, helped bring about 4 billion yen worth of cost reductions last year. You try to make on-site volition the most important thing, you know? There's all the difference in the world between the work of a person who's just loafing and the one who puts all his heart into it, even though he's handling just one part in the assembly. He can do the work, and if there's something wrong, he can fix it himself. If the work's divided up, you have to have a meeting, right? But alone, his will is reflected accurately in the making of the thing. That's where I think you get the biggest difference in efficiency. <laughs> 